Hello, my friends. Welcome again. We are in the user management index page. Here we show all the users. We can search and we can create new user. Now it's time to edit and delete the user. I have opened the VS code. Here I have the user index blade live wire component and here the user index class live wire. So now when I click the edit, I want to show a model with the user credentials. And after that, we can, uh, so here we can show the user with the username and also all the fields. And here we can uh, update the user. The same thing, but just the update button. Okay, now when we have the edit uh, button here, we have a link, but I'm going to change this to B button. And I'm going to add wire click. And it's going to be uh, edit or better show edit model. And I'm going to add the user. Sorry, uh, like this user ID. Okay, uh, copy this. Save first copy and come here. And create that, that method. So method with that name, show edit model. And here we expect the ID. And now what we can do here, first I'm going to do this reset, reset all the fields we have. And now we need to find the user first, find user after we can instantiate these fields with the user fields. So I'm going to call it load user. And we need to show the model. Okay. So first I'm going to create a new property here, public user ID and uh, here I'm just going to do this user ID is going to be with this ID we have here and I'm not going to load the user here, I'm going to create a new method uh, load user and here I'm going to say user find this user ID and with that this username is going to be First, I'm going to say uh, the user is going to be with that user, and now user username like this, and just copy and paste and change this to sorry, change this to first name but here we need, need to add now here we need to add the first uh, name like this and last name we need to change this to be last name 
like this and the email also the password okay now we're not updating the password so just that because the password we are going to create another one for updating the password so load user and now we can do it here so this load user like this and we need to show the model and we are going to do the same thing we close the model here so copy this dispatch browser event and now i'm going to say show model instead of close show model okay save and come here copy this and paste and instead of close model change this to be show model and the same model we have just change this to show okay save you can find this in the documentation of uh, bootstrap models options and here is for the show and here is for the height we use that now it's time to use the show the show the map and if you go and refresh that so we save this and this as well and this as well okay click edit and we edit the we show the username and all of that but we have the password field here for that i'm going to hide and we need a property for edit mode and it's going to be false by default and when we show this show edit i'm going to say this edit mode dot true and here when we have a form here we have a form when we have the password okay i'm going to make if We don't have the edit mode. Show this. Save and refresh. Define constant edit mode. Edit mode. So if not dollar sign edit mode save sorry friends for that and edit and now we show and hide the uh, password okay now it's time to when we, if we have edit mode i want to show button uh, update user so change this update and this is going to be update user like this and also here we can we need to make a check so if if uh, we have the dollar sign edit mode Cut this and paste it here. Else we can show this one. Save, refresh, edit, and now we have update user closes, new user, and we have a update user. And why is that? Because we need to 
we have a show edit model. We need to reset all the fields. When we hit this class close button, we need to uh, so when we close that button, we need to clear all the fields. And what we can do is Uh, add the wire click and this is going to be close model and come here create that method close model and we can close the model by dispatching this event and after that we can do this dot reset to reset all the fields and come here refresh edit we have close new user and we don't why we don't reset all the fields because we don't save this one okay refresh again edit uh, close new user and we have a new user okay now it's time to update a user so when we hit click the up, update user come here and create a method for the update user we don't need the params here we can do is find the user first so I'm going to copy what we have here and uh, first I'm going to do this or the last sign validated is going to be the last sign this validate and is going to validate our fields and here we have the rules copy that and add it when we have it here just remove the password because we don't need the password here save and uh, we don't we need to, yeah we find the user and we are going to update the user so user update and add the validated fields here and after that this reset and also this the model for close the model and save and we are going to check if we update the user so edit oh, sorry update update the user and we have updated the user we close the model and everything is okay in the next video i'm going to do the uh, add, uh, delete uh, user and also show a message here for the create new user update and delete the user okay my friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best friends